Hi everyone, I just got back from Walmart and I got a pretty good amount of stuff this time. So I, just, I laid it all out while I saw Stacy on, on uh, her with her lunch and I thought, well, I'm gonna hurry up and get it, get it laid out so when by the time she's done with her, her lunch, I'll have it laid out. Granted, what I have here is, every, is not everything I bought because I bought some things that are not food that I put, it, that, uh, I put away. But uh, there are some things that, that I did keep out. But uh, High River and those coming in. I will turn my camera around now and I'll let you see what I bought. <clears throat> Welcome to everybody coming to Periscope. Thank you for inviting your followers. Okay, first of all, I do like this, whether I should get this or not. It's skipping natural, so I do like this, this peanut butter. I didn't have any left, so I bought some of that. Um, this, I like this, I've drunk this before, I got two, two, uh, two of these of the Vita Coco, the pure coconut water pineapple, it's got a real good flavor to it. Oh, hi Stacy. you just, just caught the beginning of it. I'll go back and, and, uh, I just got, got that, and I got some of this organic cereal, Mesa Sunrise, it has corn, flax, quinoa, and amaranth. I've never heard of amaranth, I don't know what amaranth is. Is that a grain? Because I don't know what that is. And uh, I got uh, organic sweet peas. I got a couple cans of those. I got some veggie chips. I like veggie chips to, to bunch on. Now, one's ranch. They're organic. And the one's got sea salt. And these are actually very good because they're, you can see those are made with peas, spinach, and tomatoes. And these are made with, oh, that's right, the same one I just had. And these are made with peas, peas spinach, and tomatoes, peas, pea, spinach, and tomatoes as well. Hi, Barbara. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, I did see some avocados. I think I'll put these in my salad. I got about three avocados today. So I'll put those in my salad. I did find some organic ketchup. People talked about this morning. Annie's organic ketchup. So I thought I'd try that since... Oh, amaranth is a green. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. Okay, and then I got some uh, organic bananas. That's some more seventh generation dishwashing soap because I use quite a bit of what I have. I got some more of this because I, I, I was out of this, the veggie turkey slices. And I also got the uh, hot dog slices, the the smart smart dogs, veggie hot dogs. Those are very good. I've, I've used those up. So I got me this kind of bread. I've never had it before. It's organic, but it's seeds for the day. Organic grains. It's eight organic grains and seeds. So I thought that would be good. Called Eureka. I don't know if anybody's ever had that before. Here I got some uh, the uh, Blue Raw Agave Nectar because, oh, happy 4th of July to you too. I'm almost out of what I have because I had a smaller bottle, so I thought I'd get me a bigger one this time because I used to slight flavor up my ice cream with it. Then I got me some more um, almond milk, the vanilla. Then I got me some, this is not, and these are quite expensive, but two pounds of organic red delicious apples. I'll use these for my ice cream on my, on my uh, smoothies. These are the pears I was talking about that I'm just about out of. I got one left. These are the, the uh, multicolored pears, but they're sweet colored, sweet bicolored pears. They are very, oh, you used that one? Oh, good, good, good. I also got me some organic lentil soup. I happen to like lentils, and I thought, well, I saw this, and I thought, I'll get me some organic lentil soup. I got me some more of this quinoa. I had this before. People saw this before, but I like I like that. It says it serves too, but I eat it all myself. And I know we're, we're, we're concerned about the environment and our clothes. So I bought me, I'll put this down over here, maybe you can see here, some seventh generation laundry soap. Zero, you know, zero fragrances and made for sensitive skin. I hope that's okay, um, uh, Stacy, because I I have the seventh generation uh, dishwashing soap, so I thought it should be okay. Then I, um, yes, I got me some tropical fruit mix. This as well, I can use this in my ice, in my ice cream or my smoothies. And I also got me some more blueberries. And I also got me, some mandarin oranges, which I think would be very good in smoothies or ice cream. So that's basically my grocery haul that I really, I really uh, did a lot more this time. But I was out of a lot of stuff. Hi, Genesis. You can see as I go down the scan down the counter that I, what I bought for uh, my grocery haul this time. Um, I'm waiting to use these avocados. I've never had avocados. I don't know how good they taste, but I'm willing to try them in, in um, my salads. You know. And um, I'm happy that I found the organic peas because I've been looking for those. I love organic. I love peas. It's my favorite favorite vegetable. And this, I've had I've had this before, and this is very good because it's got pineapple in it. Vita Coco. They got this one, and they got one other one that I've, I've drunk before, but I like. I got two of these. Welcome to Periscope for the very first time. And uh, this is what I'm kind of I'm kind of interested in too. When I saw this, I thought, well, this looks pretty good because it's non-GMO and it's organic. So I thought, well, that makes it ideal. So I thought I'd try that. 
you know, and uh, see how how good that's going to taste. And uh, oh, you can make guaca. Oh yeah, I heard of that. I don't care for for guacamoles too well, but I think I could probably put it in my salad because I don't really like guacamoles. Uh, guacamole all that well. I suppose you make it yourself or taste better than what you buy in the store. But as you can see, I have. Oh, you've had that. You've had that cereal. Is it good, Stacy? Because it looks good to me. Nature's Pack. I've never heard of that before, but um, I thought I'd try a different kind of cereal. I want to get organic, and you know, I use the almond milk for my cereal. As you can see, I didn't do too bad. Um, oh, good, good. And I want to get organic bananas because I I like to put those in my my ice cream. And I'm going to try this ketchup since it's organic. I want to, I want to um, make sure it's going to be okay. It's USA organic, so. Guacamole is delicious. I've never really, really, I think I've had it before, but didn't like it. Maybe it was because it was bought or something, or people made it too spicy or whatever. So, well, that's possible, Stacy. It's possible. I didn't make the guacamole. Somebody else has made it, but if they make it too spicy, I don't like spicy foods. Not at all. I just don't care for it. I don't think it's good for your system. But uh, somebody said they've got this. Oh, yours? Yeah, probably not. I don't believe in spice either, but I'm anxious to use this bread. Um, Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome because I just got back and I thought, well, I might as well show it to you before I put the things away that you can see. Uh, oh, is it good bread? Good. I was wondering about it, Stacy, because I'd seen it there before, but I wasn't sure. And I'm just about out of bread. And I use bread for, for toast. I use it for, for my sake of making my um, sandwiches. Like I'll use this for the sandwiches and, and the smart dogs and, and my um, tofurkey. Oh, oh, it does, Arlene, doesn't. And if you like lentils, which I love lentils. I used to have lentils all the time when I was back in Indiana. I thought, well, I'm going to get some lentil soup. If, and with it being organic, that even makes it better yet. You know. And this quinoa, I was surprised that I really like quinoa as much as I do. And uh, I didn't. I tried it the first time, and it, I actually loved it. So I wanted to get the same one again. So as you can see, I I did a pretty good haul this time. And I and I've all these fruits I got. I'm going to put in my like some Wheaties or ice cream. I want to make a red, white, and blue ice cream today, but uh, Genesis wants me to, wants me to make it in front of everybody. So I will do that, but you'll have to plug your ears because my ninja is quite loud. So, <laughs> so if uh, everybody's done looking and everything, if you want to take another gander, I can I can scan over it. But I'm kind of curious if, how this is going to be with the um, seventh generation on that. I like the seventh generation dishwashing food, uh, um, product. So. I'm sure that'll be okay too, but I'll just scan one more time and then I think I'm going to have to put everything away and get myself something to eat because it's lunchtime here. And, oh, okay Arlene, well, Genesis wanted me to do it. She asked me this morning if I would, if I would make the uh, smooth, or right, make the ice cream in front of you instead of already having it made. So I said I would do that, although the Ninja is quite loud, but I, you know, and it's a process where I have to turn the Ninja off and turn it back on again because it, uh, I have to push it down. But. If you can bear with me on that, I will do. I will be more than happy to do it. So, but you can see that I've got a pretty good haul right now, and and uh, and I'm getting ready to put everything away. I, the stuff that especially has to go in the freezer and stuff. So, I thank you all for coming in. And uh, yes, I did. I got it all at Walmart, Barbara. Isn't that ironic? Hi, Philip. Since you came in, I'll show you exactly where my grocery haul is. I like the Skippy Natural. I bought that. Um, what time is dinner? Well, I live in Oregon, so I'm on, I'm on Pacific time. So uh, I'm uh, three hours behind New York and, and two hours behind Stacy. So, <laughs> and uh, I like this cereal. Stacy said she's had it before, Sir, uh, Philip. So I've got that corn, flax, quinoa, and anorak. She said that's a great one. So, and then I got me some uh, organic peas, sweet peas. I love peas. And I like this. Um, oh, you use that peanut butter as well? Okay. And Vita Cocoa Pure Coconut Water with Pineapple. I love this. I've had this before and it is so good. And I like I like snacks. So I thought, give me some veggie chips with snack. And these are organic. They're made out of peas, spinach, and tomatoes. Both of them are. One's got ranch and the other one's sea salt. So they're both the same, pretty much the same. Then I got me um, some avocados. About, I think it was about three or four avocados. Okay. Oh, yeah, sir. Okay, you're on the same time I am. Three avocados, three or four avocados put in salads. Then I got me some organic ketchup. Um, Annie's organic organic ketchup, homegrown. So I'm hoping this will be okay. I figured, well, it's organic and and uh, so non-GMO. So I would use that. Then I got some organic bananas again. I got some seventh generation more dishwashing soap. 
Um, and then I got some more of these because I was out of them. I used the other ones up, the smart hot dogs, and also the uh, these, the uh, jerky slices. I used them up as well. And then I got me some more blue, the amber raw, blue agave, because the container I had was very small and it's about gone. I use it all the time in my ice cream. So it helped me buy me a bigger one this time. Then I got me some more almond breeze, almond milk. The vanilla kind, I like that one. Then this is new bread that I've never tried before, so I thought I'd try this bread. Somebody said they've used it, they really like it. Then these are the, these are pears I put in my ice cream before too, but they're good just the way they are. They're sweet. Oh, you got Simple Truth Organic Ketchup? Oh, okay, Erlene. Okay, well I've never tried Annie's before, so I'll see how good it is. And these are the sweet bicolored pears I've been telling you about. These are delicious. So they're, they're good for ice cream and smoothies. Then I got me some lentil soup. I like I like lentil soup. Now these are very expensive. Two pounds of the red delicious apples. Oh damn it. I thought I'd try those. You know, they're quite expensive. But then I got me some more tropical fruit mix. And this is uh, pineapple, mango, strawberries, and papaya. Those would be good in, in either ice cream or smoothies. Then I got me some more blueberries because I'm just about out. Then I got me some more quinoa. Yes, I had this before. I like this quinoa. Hi Alexis. And this is for my laundry. This is my laundry soap, seventh generation. Since I got the seventh generation um, dishwashing soap, I thought the uh, laundry soap would be ideal. So you can pretty much see what I bought, Alexis. Um, I've got a, quite a big haul here, and I'll kind of scan down the down the counter and let you see on, on my stove what I got. Um, hi, Dana. Good to see you. Welcome. As you can see, i got a pretty good size grocery haul this time. Some organic, some are not. But a lot of fruits and stuff that I can use in my smoothies and my ice cream. Uh, oh, you... Oh, wow. That, that sounds good. Your cashew cheese. That really sounds really good. Hi, Dana. Good to see you. Welcome. Hi. Good to see everybody that's coming in. Yeah, it does. And then I bought some more of the turkey slices and some more of the um, veggie hot dogs. Some more blue raw agave nectar because I love this stuff. I, I put that in my ice cream. And... Uh, vanilla almond breeze, the almond milk, and organic bananas. I've got to have my organic bananas. <laughs> and I got the uh, Annie's organic ketchup. I got me some organic sweet peas. I love sweet peas. It's my favorite vegetable. Got me some more seventh generation dishwashing soap. Oh, it is. It is, Dana. Then I got me a couple bags of veggie chips. One's with ranch and one's sea salt. But they, were, they got peas, spinach, and tomatoes. It's all organic. And I, this is what I love, too. If you've never drunk this, dry some of this. This is pure coconut water with pineapple. This is delicious. I've had a, several, I bought two of them, but I don't show one because I do need to show the other one. Of course, then I got some Skippy Naturals. Philip says he eats this all the time. I love Skippy peanut butter. And then I got this cereal, Mesa Sunrise. It's got quinoa in it, corn, flax, quinoa, and amaranth. Uh, Stacy says it's a grain. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome to my, to my grocery haul as I'm going through everything here. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a bit on, on the counter here. And, and uh, I know I'm going to live healthy and be strong with all this. You know, I go for just a few things, a few things I was out of. And then when I start, I start shopping, I start going down the aisles, I see something else that I want too. Oh, you'll love it. You'll love it, Pam. It is delicious. It's very, very good. You don't have to refrigerate it. I don't refrigerate mine. I just drink it the way it is. I take it to church on Sabbath mornings because uh, it's good in Sabbath school and great, do it good during church. And uh, I don't, but I'll, I'll just drink it during the week. And uh, oh, you want to see it again? Okay, this is what it is. It's called Vita Coco. There's different. This is the only one that I drank that's got the, co the pineapple in it. There's other ones that are just pure coconut water alone. But the Vita Coco, and I got this at Walmart now. It's got pineapple in it, and it's never from concentrate. And it's one liter, so. And I got two of those, but I, I drink it for sa for Sabbath school and uh, stuff like that. And uh, I will be coming, yeah, yeah, I will be coming on Sabbath morning. I thought, it, while I'm on here, I will tell you that we don't, we don't have church Sabbath because of camp meeting. But uh, I'll probably come on Sabbath morning and do, maybe do a periscope and things like that. But I won't be doing a church scope unless I come on later in the day. But um, as you can see, I got quite a bit, and I love my organic bananas. You know, they're starting to... Oh, Walmart is stepping it up and, and getting a lot of, of things that, that uh, are organic now, and I'm glad they do that. Uh, what, what condiment do I put in my sandwiches? Well, I've been using vegan, vegan mayo, but uh, I've, got, I've got this um, organic Annie's, Annie's uh, homegrown organic ketchup that I'm going to try. 
Yeah, I know. Not everybody's organic. I know that. And I use um, veggie hot dogs. And I put those on there and I put these veggie turkey slices. I got some vegan cheese that I put on it too. And uh, so veg, veg, vegan mayo is pretty much what I put on it mostly though. Instead of, uh, you know, but I thought I'd try that. Um, well, you may like real food, but this is more healthy for you. You know, you need to you need to eat better because you're going to get sick. The meats you're eating and the stuff you're eating are probably making you real sick and you don't know it. You, you get you get sick real fast. You know, we got to be pure for Jesus. And if you start keep eating that stuff, you'll die prematurely. So, yes, it is, Dana. This is real food. Now, health is wealth. You know, I want to be healthy. I don't I don't need to be I don't need to be sickly. And I've I've not been sick my life, but I've been eating, I've been gaining weight, and I don't need to do. And now I've lost weight. For those that weren't on my periscope this morning, I've lost three and a half pounds since last week. So, and I'm still getting the um, flushing the toxins out. So I'm doing real well. Okay, somebody just came in, so I'll show you what I got. I got some Skippy Natural. Yeah, it is Dana, and I got this Mesa Sunrise. This is cereal. It's got quinoa, corn, flax, and amaranth in it. Oh, good, Sister Love. Great. I'm just showing you what I just, I just went over the thing, but I'll show you. And I got some, this pure coconut water with, with pineapple. I love that stuff. And I got me some snacks that are all organic. They're both made with uh, peas, spinach, and tomatoes. One's ranch, and the other one is sea salt. I got that. Uh, well, maybe I pay more, but I, I don't care. I'm, I'm more healthy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And I got some uh, sweet peas, organic sweet peas, which I, I'm going to like those. And, and I try, I'm try. i going to try some of this. People are talking about organic ketchup. This Annie's. So I'm going to try this. I got these all at Walmart, believe it or not. Walmart's stepping it up and getting and getting a lot more organic stuff in. And then I got 7th generation dishwashing soap because I don't have a dishwasher that works. And so I have to uh, wash them by hand. And then I got some organic bananas. Got these... Uh, Meatless turkey slices, or veggie turkey slices, and veggie dogs from uh, Light Life. Stacy said that's a good brand. Then I got me some more blue raw, am, uh, blue agave, raw amber, amber raw agave, non-GMO, organic. Oh, yes, we all do. You know, it's, you know, you you live healthy. You, like I said, I've lost three and a half pounds since last week. I started weighing myself again, so I know it's going to happen. Yeah, they are. They are going organic, you know, and health is wealth. And like I said, you don't have to buy that much organic. Buy a little bit at a time, you know. I'm on a fixed income, so I can only buy just a little bit at a time. As you can see here, not everybody, I, everything I have on here is organic. But if I can buy organic, I will. And I'd like this, uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, pe pe pot uh, pe oh, potatoes and sea salt only. Is oh, okay, okay, Pam. Thanks for telling me. And these are the these are the pears I was telling about. The sweet bicolor pears. These are delicious. I put these in my ice cream the other day. You can also put them in smoothies. I bought me two pounds of organic, red delicious apples. Which they were not very cheap, let me tell you. But I didn't have any organic apples. And I I forgot to show these earlier. I got me some mandarin oranges too. I think these would be good either in smoothies or ice cream as well. And also I got me tropical fruit mix, which I didn't have in the freezer. But that's a pineapple, mango, strawberries, and papaya. And then I got me some more blueberries, which I use most of the time. They're just about gone. I got me more quinoa again. So I want, I, got, I love this quinoa. It does. Got me some lentil soup. Uh, two cans of lentil soup. And this is what I got for, a, oh, you did cherry plums? I've never tried those. I'll have to get some of those. And then I bought this to my laundry because I heard that you, you need to have better better laundry detergent for your for to be your clothes. So I saw the seventh generation and since I got the dish soap I thought that would be good too. Oh yeah. I thought I did pretty good, you know. I start I go there for a couple of different things and I end up getting more than what I was gonna get. But I think I did really well and uh, so not a, like I said there's other things I have that are not that are, that I do that are not foods that I put away that are not foods but Everything that's foods and I, I decided to leave out to, to, so you can see what I bought. And uh, welcome back, Genesis. And, and uh, But I'm about ready to put this stuff away and get my lunch now because it's, it's past lunchtime here. But I thought I'd just do a short scope just to let you all see what I got at the store. You have to, yeah, you know, I heard that, you know, I thought I'm going to change my dishwashing soap and change my, uh, the, my soap that I used to wash with. Uh, myself, uh, my body soap, and my my uh, you know deodorant. That I better change the laundry soap too. 
You like Echo's Laundry? I saw that, and I wasn't sure what to get by. I saw the seventh generation. I'll get that. I, I, I saw the Echo's, and I, I wasn't sure if it was good or not. So, But I thought I'd just take a little time to show you a little bit of my... Uh, ah, hi, Genesis. Good to see you. Um, oh, you love their soaps? Oh, good, good. Well... Yeah, it's plant-based. Well, I think this seventh generation pretty much is. I've seen Stacy have gen seventh generation stuff too. So, I thought since I since she's she's had it, I would I would get it because I figured that I can't do wrong with it. Oh, you're so welcome. I think what I'm gonna do right now though is I'm gonna get off of this scope and put everything away and get ready for lunch because it is 12:30 here. It's, it's my lunch time, and I don't want to be I don't want to be coming on late tonight with the ice cream, which I promised Genesis that I would make the ice cream for you right in front of you. She wanted me to do that for you, and I will do that. So, oh, uh, oh, you're so welcome. And, uh, uh, oh, yes, this guy, I got, he's gone. His name had Satan in it. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that? Oh, about the, uh, that name alone is disgusting. Oh, thank you, Erlene. I think I'm going to have to put it all away now, especially the stuff that goes in the freezer before it uh, starts thawing out. Um, oh, ThriveMarketplace.com. Oh, oh, okay, I'll do that, Xavier. Thank you for telling me. Uh, okay, you do that, Genesis. Well, I'm going to go for now, and I'm putting everything away. But I thank you all for coming in and sharing with your followers and vi viewers as well. And I hope you all have a great day, and I hope that the replay viewers enjoy this as well. Have a great, marvelous 4th of July. Take care. God bless. I love you all, and bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.